Hey everybody, this is Pastor Tyler Baker of Valiant Baptist Church. And I wanted to make a quick video inviting anyone who lives in the Jacksonville, Florida area to come and visit us at one of our upcoming services. I also wanted to use this as an opportunity to give a tour of our facility. Now we're located at 3661 Crown Point Court, Jacksonville, Florida, 32257. And what you're looking at right now is gonna be the street view of our location. So if you follow me back this way, our church is actually located, the building back here. So right here, we have the main entrance to the church. You can see the window lettering, of course, Valiant Baptist Church, some of the basic information about our church. And we have our theme verse there, Psalm chapter 60, verse 12. I'd like you to follow me in here and I can give you a tour of the inside of the church building. Inside our church building. Previous to us moving in, this used to be a medical office unit, so we had a lot of remodel work that we had to do in the initial or the startup phase of the church. And where you're standing, in fact, used to be the waiting area. Along here were walls. This was that where the receptionist sat. It was a big window, a large window right here. There was a door right here that would open up, and it led back to the main hallway or the main corridor. Right there along that exterior wall, there were four different examination rooms. They all had their own doors, so there were pretty large rooms right there. We knocked all of those down. There was also even a closet, so we knocked that down. We wanted to expand the capacity of the seating, the amount of people that we could fit in here, of course. Now, as I mentioned, this used to be the waiting area where you're standing, and this is now the pulpit area. So this is where all the preaching takes place. This is where the song leading, the announcements, all of that good stuff. Over in this corner, this is where our guitar player will sit. We have his music stand, his chair, his guitar. This corner is where our pianist is. So we have our, our upright piano, uh, this black piano right here. It's, it's, of course, very pretty. This was given to us by a local pastor here in Jacksonville. We're very appreciative of that. We love that piano. Very nice. Right here on the wall, uh, we have this little placard. We framed this. So this is pretty cool. This is actually the first publication of the hymn or of the song, To God Be the Glory. So there's the cover of that particular hymnal. So that's pretty interesting right there. So if you follow me back around here, so we have the auditorium here, all of this area. Uh, right here we have some newer chairs that we just recently purchased for our one-year anniversary. Over on this side we have the existing chairs. So these were, these were the chairs that we used going all the way back to our very first service. So that was March 25th, 2018. Now, if you come a little closer, I'd like to show you this. So this is one of the most important things that we have here. And this represents the vision or the goal of the whole reason why I started this church in the first place. If you look in the brown, that is the city limits of Jacksonville, Florida. And Valley Baptist Church has a vision of preaching the gospel to every single resident within these limits. Now, if you look even closer, you'll notice that there are a couple little blocks here that are colored in red. And that represents the amount of doors that we've knocked thus far. So we, of course, want this entire brown area to be red. And this should be the goal of every local New Testament Baptist church. This should be their goal is to reach the people in your area with the gospel. And that's our goal here. So if you step back in this corner with me, you know, we have the men's restroom. Come in for thou art a valiant man. We have the trash can in the far corner here. Uh, you know, our bookshelf, a little plaque with uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15 on it. This is where we'll store our invitations for those that are going to be going soul winning. We'll put those out. We have some extra hymnals if people are in need of those. We have, uh, you know, some Bibles here that we can distribute. Maybe if somebody forgets their Bible, uh, maybe even someone uh, comes in, a new visitor, and they need a Bible so they can follow along with the services. So if you follow me around here towards the back of the church, we have our kitchen. So we're officially a Baptist church. You're not a Baptist church unless you have a kitchen. So we have our refrigerator. We have a spare microwave up there if someone needs it. You know, a coffee maker, all of the, those types of appliances over here. We have water just in case someone's thirsty during the services or even someone comes in from soul winning. Uh, we have our sink. Now, this is funny. Uh, this actually was taken from the exam room that's located right behind you there. There was one of these units, this whole unit, in each of these. And we threw three of the four away. But this room was bare, and it worked out perfect to be our kitchen, so we ended up taking that particular unit and installing it in here, because there was already plumbing in here. It worked out perfect. All that was in here previously 
or just these cabinets right there. So uh, the kitchen works out great. Uh, you know, if someone's going soul winning, they can bring their lunch, put their lunch in the refrigerator, um, and then after the Sunday morning service, they eat their lunch real quick, they warm it up, and then they go out soul winning, come back at the end of the day, and every Sunday evening, we have a uh, fellowship meal. So all the ladies will get together and coordinate different meals each week. So of course, that's great. You know, you might have noticed that we have these chairs right here. These are gliders. Uh, they're more comfortable chairs. We have those for the expecting ladies and then also for the nursing mothers so that they can be more comfortable. Uh, back here, if you want to step all the way back here, we have the women's restrooms. We have the valiant man here. We have the virtuous woman. You know, we have a small little closet right here. We'll keep some of our cleaning supplies, things like that. Uh, quickly here, we can step into the pastor's office. So this is my office, of course. Uh, my desk and uh, you know all the things that are needed just for the church business. Uh, so I'll come in here and study the Bible and I'll prepare for all of my sermons. You know in this room some books and things that are located over there. Uh, in the very back of the church, you'll notice that we have a mother baby room. Now if you want to step around here with me, you'll notice uh, that this window is totally open right here. There's no glass anything in it, but it's not detached from the church itself. It's not detached from where the church services are are held. That's because we don't believe in separating the mother from the children or the father from the children. We believe in family integrated services, that the whole family should stay together uh, during the church services and that there should be one service for all. You know, there's not different parts of the Bible for children and then different parts for adults. You know, the services is one size fits all, just like the Bible is one size fits all. And of course, mothers and fathers oftentimes, they don't like to have their children separated and maybe taken from a, you know, by a stranger and put into a room. You don't know what they're learning. You don't know what's going on. So you know, we believe in having family integrated services here. So that's why we have the mother baby room, just in case a child gets fussy. You know, the mother doesn't have to step all the way out back. She doesn't have to, you know, go into a totally different building and then miss the preaching or miss the services. She can just come back here, kind of get a little bit further away from everyone just in case, you know, uh, there's a distraction or anything. Get back here, calm the baby down, but she still doesn't even miss out on any of the services. That concludes the tour of the church, and I really hope that you enjoyed it. Also, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you happen to live in the Jacksonville, Florida area, we'd love for you to stop by and visit us in one of our upcoming services. Also, I'd like to close the video in saying thank you to all of our supporters, all of those who have followed our church, those that listen to the sermons online, who have given us words of encouragement, words of thank you. We're also thankful to all of those who have uh, donated financially to our church. Everything that you've seen uh, in our church building here would not have been made possible if it wasn't for, of course, the donations within the church, but also the donations without the church. So we're very thankful for all of the support, whether it be financial support or whether it be moral support. And we hope that you will continue to follow our church, to follow the sermons online, and you will continue to be a great encouragement to us here at Valiant Baptist Church. Uh, thank you for watching, and God bless.